Austin East, <laughs> AE alumni this weekend. Our next guest invite you to celebrate a local school's milestone. It is the 140th anniversary of Austin East High School and Austin East. And you know it's a good day when Renee Kessler comes in studio. She's joining us from Beck Cultural Center. Love always seeing you, but this is so special. It really is. You know, Beck is the place where African American history and culture are preserved. But what's so special about this is, as we know, Austin High School, before it was Austin East High School, it's going to be the only high school in this region where African American children can go. Emily Austin in 1879, a white woman from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is going to come here, educate what they would then call colored children, and it's going to become one of the greatest schools, and the legacy goes on 140 years later. Incredible. That's incredible. How yeah. are you going to celebrate this? So we're going to be at the convention center, and we're excited about that. So we have um, almost 1,200 people. What? that Whoa. will be in town from all over. It's completely sold out, um, but it's going to be wonderful. We'll do a history. We'll have a great video plan. We'll have entertainment. We'll have food. And of course, Mr. Booker, who started this 40 years ago with the 100 of the centennial, we've been doing it every five years, every since. So every five years, we commemorate the amazing milestones of that school, Austin High School, which would merge with East High School to become Austin East High School. Which is what we know it as today. That's right. Now, is it just a Saturday event, or do you have something planned on Friday? Too? Yeah, so Friday after the barbecue and everything on, on Thursday, you can come out to the park on Friday. Anyone's welcome. It's from 4 to 8. So we'll have food trucks out there at the Holston River Park, and it'll be a great fellowship time for people to get together and have a great time, and they get ready for the big event on Saturday night at the convention center. So, but the biggest thing is the history, yeah. right, and commemorate and fellowship, but extraordinary people from this area. All right, and we want our mind, folks. It's so popular, tickets are not available anymore. <laughs> yes. But that event you're talking about Friday, people that, can go on out to. Sure. That's open to on um, the entire public to come out and join And you us. have people coming from all over. Yeah, all over. I was going to say outside of the country even. So people have... You know, Austin and Austin East have produced some amazing people who live all over the world, uh -huh. and they come in for this event. That's fantastic. Yeah. This is just amazing. Yeah. I'm assuming, uh, maybe I'm wrong, it didn't s sell out its first year you guys did this. Maybe it did. Well, it did, but again, it's grown bigger now each and convention. every year. Yeah. Yes. So now we there's no more room. I mean, that's all the room we had. So next year we'll certainly have, excuse me, five years from now, we'll certainly have to start thinking about a larger, you know, venue or opening up more doors in the convention center Absolutely. so we have enough room. So we've completely filled the room that we have reserved. What a great problem. It is, yes, and we're yeah. excited. So, so good. Yeah, we hope that people will get the souvenir book. That'll be at the back. It's over 160 pages. So even if you don't make the event, you can come by back awesome. and you can purchase the souvenir book, which will be great. So we will commemorate and keep the legacy of that rich history going. Wonderful. Yeah. Love seeing you. Thank you. Thank you for coming Thank on. You for having yeah. me. Yes, always love having you. All right.